Hey everyone. Uh, I'm Alfred. Coming back a few hours later. No, stop it. That was really dumb. Oh, to what now? Save your progress and exit the game. So, is that I can do either, or is that I have to do both? Uh, anyway. Welcome back to Strafe. Uh, I've been playing off camera, though not for very long. Um, I noticed a few things. One, those little things that look like key cards that I was picking up are key cards. Um, ammo and armor are actually on the thing twice. The button is for big armor. The button is for big armor or little armor. And big ammo or little ammo. Um. Oh my god, what is that? I'm unsurprised. I've gotten here with a uh, halfway decent amount of health. What in the hell are you? Okay, well. I'm definitely seeing more of the... What was this called? Black Canyon? Um... I got some additional confirmation. The length of a run is only about, like, an hour and a half when you beat the game in full. Oh boy. I have no idea how I'm supposed to stop you guys. Boy, I passed up health, some health earlier, and man, am I missing it now. It didn't help that I wasted a little bit of my uh, armor. So is that like a sapient volcano? Or? Should I just give up on recognizability? I will say the basic like running enemy that I've uh, that I've been uh, fighting very reminiscent of I think the Shambla from Quake. Oh boy. I just got here, guys. I'm not quite lit ready to leave yet. Yeah, these guys. Vaguely reminiscent of a Shambla. Jesus, that's a lot of blood. Uh, so yeah, I have not come close to running out of ammo on my main gun, like, ever. Oh boy. Oh boy. You guys ever get something like dumb stuck in your head that isn't a song but it's a phrase? I can't stop saying Yorks be staying new. Alright. Gotta bring a thing there. You guys are still on my ass. Okay, okay. Thing. Damn it. Uh, that's the clip, I guess. Oh, hey, I got a progress thing. Money. 
That reminds me, I think I missed the, uh, the, the one thing this time around. Um, damn. Hey, uh, I'm back. Uh, via a lot of stuff doing it. I managed to get here with, uh, this thing. Now, I still don't actually know what this does. Uh, I guess I could learn. Maybe it's here that it does something. Cool. Oh my god, it needs more? Ew. That's fine. Uh, anyway. I've managed to get here with plenty of armor, well, with a quantity of armor and with uh, almost full health. I would have had full, but I, I stepped in a little pile of acid. And I've just got to learn this, this, this level. I will say, it is like a ripoff to buy the little armor. Because you can either pay like 35 for 20. 20 points of armor. Or uh, you can pay 60 for 50 points of armor. Boy. So yeah, you end up like... Damn it. That was bad. I learned how this game, uh, like... Randomizes. It doesn't completely build a new thing every time. It has like a... A long list of rooms. And then it just uh, puts a random amount of those rooms. Into a big box. And that's the level. It's pretty simple. Very reminiscent of multiple bullets in that it is... Oh my god, are those mountain things? The unkillable tree gods? Is that what I just saw? Oh god. Oh, that's not good. Damn it! That's, uh, that's really annoying. Alright, back in, um... I've made it to three, and I've done that a few times. I still have no idea what these do. Uh, and I put a few more things into this teleporter. Um, I don't think these little tanks even spawn anymore. Um, and with some money that I saved up, I uh, bought the teleporter part from the previous shop. Um. If I've read the loading screen tips correctly, that's fun. That's that's really funny. They triggered a big cool detonation, but there actually was no one in there. Okay. I, I might hate these robots most of all. Like, their projectiles come at such a delicate speed that it's really hard to avoid them. Perfect. 
Okay, I feel like I should go back. I, I, I don't think that should be in my inventory still. I'm getting lost. Okay, if I've understood the loading screen tips correctly, um, what should happen when I do this What should happen when I finish that is I'll be able to just come to level 3 and just start fresh in level 3. And then just do that completely raw. So, yeah. I won't have anything that I might have picked up on the earlier levels. But I'll be starting with 100 ammo and... Nope, with 100 armor and 100 health. Which is... Uh, been at a premium. Because it's pretty difficult for me to get down here with full health. And I don't think I've gotten down here with full armor. If I have, it was not with full health. Me, sir. This is a totally different um, canyon, I believe. This is this area is called. Oh boy! Waste a little bit of the food. There doesn't appear to be a way to get out of here once you've been, like, if, if someone is between you and the door, there isn't, I don't think you can really get out of there, which is kind of annoying. And of course, I keep standing in acid. Yeah, the difficulty spike here seems like so much bigger than the earlier two levels, honestly. I don't know if that's good or not. Because obviously you want a game to get more challenging and difficult. But with a roguelike, especially one like this, you have so much working against you at the start. Whoa. Oh yeah, I learned that these things are full of scrap. And that you can shoot them multiple times to get more goodies out of them. But only to a point. Okay, so they can be killed. It just takes a lot of firepower. Well, that's honestly a fascinating prospect because this now means that I can stop running for a second. Got a lot of scrap. Don't know if uh, that'll do any good. I don't think I've found like a uh, a scrap box like on this level before, or a scrap recycler rather. This is the first time I'm able to light one of these off. Oh, I hate you guys. I want to just reload, like, every shot, you know? Jesus. <sighs> it, it never automatically reloads whenever uh, whenever your gun's empty. You have to you have to click or hit the reload button manually, and it, it fucked me up. It, it's done that a few times, but man, it got me. I'm gonna hit.
see to continue because I want to see what will happen. I've yet to turn on easy mode, but I'm kind of curious about it. I also kind of wanted to change the room. up here. Big head. Strafe RPG? Okay, I'm immensely curious. <laughs> Oh my god, is that just the teleporter part I needed? I think it is. So this means I have to be... Because with a shotgun, you know... Naturally you're just running and gunning like Doom Guy. Oh, right off the bat, huh? Interesting. Hi, hello. I don't know what those guys are, but I've been killing them every time. Honestly, like, adding levels to this makes this more of a roguelike. In my internal logic for what makes a roguelike and a roguelite. Because, uh, the original Rogue was an RPG. <laughs> what does choosing luck mean? Does it affect enemy spawns? Because to my knowledge, enemy spawns are completely randomized. Say nothing of choosing charisma. That's fine by me, my man. What's useful about this gun, which I believe is called the railgun? I believe that's what this fella do. Uh. I guess we're not having, like, food anymore, that's, uh... Reload your gun, thank you. I really... <laughs> that was kind of funny. I find myself kind of wishing that, um, you could just have two main weapons, because, like, I love the main weapons a lot. I'm aware that a significant chunk of difficulty comes from having less weapons, but, like, man. Something to beat the original Quake. Maybe we'll do that for the channel. It would certainly be something, right? Yeah, initially my logic was that, like, I'm gonna stop showing things that aren't, you know, the cool, fresh level 3. But then, I unlocked RPG mode. Pretty cool. Yeah, I have no idea what RPG mode actually, like, changes besides, like... Because, like, this is a very jokey game, you know? It, it is... It is like a good shooter and a roguelike, among other things, but um, it doesn't take itself very seriously. And it's mostly just there for the fun of it. 
So I'm curious as to what putting RPG mechanics in this actually does. Because it, it might literally just be like, haha, we put a bar on the screen that'll fill up as you shoot guys. Does this make you feel better about the game, you fucking puss? You know what? Sometimes adding more gameplay mechanics does make a game more interesting. Sometimes you should stop doing it and double down on what you're already doing to make your game better. Situational awareness, Alfred. Yeah, so I also noticed that, like, yes, I am picking up key cards, and yes, it does open the colored doors. Part of it was just me being, like, not inept, but, like, I am kind of dumb. Oh, interesting. Yeah, there's a couple like base weapons. Oh, I see. Those little things fill up, and then you get more stuff. Get some more armor. Okay, so that still works the same. I speared to the wall via So the other thing that happens is that like in the original Doom there were these things called monster closets. Which is just like, hey, we wanna give the player more enemies to fight. And it'll happen whenever they do a certain thing. So uh So introduced was the monster closet. When you uh, click on certain doors or get certain key cards, okay. so it shoots slower, but it appears to have a larger capacity. When you pick up certain key cards or click on certain doors, uh other doors will open. It's not like random which ones it is. You know, it's predetermined it'll happen the same every time. Level start. <clears throat> it looks like getting blood all over the floor is actually a way to stop enemies from getting at you. Like it'll cancel out the acid, which I think is pretty funny. railgun is that like sometimes you really just need a precision weapon to deal with things that are like not right in your goddamn face. I'm gonna pick luck just because I'm really curious. Maybe it'll give you more XP per kill, that'd be pretty sweet. It might take a niche it might take, you know, a lot of enemies getting killed for me to notice. Might take additional ranks in luck. Or is it like a critical hit mechanic? So sometimes when I body shot a guy with a weapon that won't kill in one, it will just kill in one. Oh yeah, I've also learned that there are in fact uh, secret levels. Uh, occasionally there will be like cool hidden panels on the walls that I'm sure my viewers are seeing and I'm not. Uh, and you can just tell them by the fact that they look a little out of place. Uh, and shooting them will re reveal a little, you know, a little room with some extra goodies in it. Something like that, you know.
getting nothing but scrap here. See, I have no idea what those things do. It is Z to look at my inventory. Hmm. I feel like the path forward is this way, considering that this was the green door that I had open. Oh, here we go, more enemies. Hoping I can find a uh, another restock because I've got enough goodies to have uh, almost two like two fresh kits of armor. Get this to you. See what you can do with this. But you can also exchange it for money. Which I might do, honestly. Because, yeah, lower secondary ammo cost, protects against acid damage. So I'm not sure if these are, like, permanent. point at you. Yeah, I'm not sure how permanent those are. But, like, it is usually better to buy, like, permanent upgrades rather than, like, temporary things. So maybe I'll get this. everything. But yeah, I, um, after, I, I was right. After looking at the wiki, I was like, yeah, you know what? I, I did like that a lot more. Um, it told me to stop thinking of it as, like, a boomer shooter, even though it, like, clearly borrows from that. And that's, like, that's kind of a weird thing with it, because in the, uh, in the pre-release material, and... Okay, so is that, like, I have a little icon on my screen. Does that mean it's ready to go? Because that's pretty cool. Is that Sing Sweet Nightingale? I mean, I guess it was a thing that I did, not the game, but... <laughs> Blow up 666 barrels. Oh, they're constantly keeping acid. Uh-oh. To be honest, I'm being a little more luzzy as fair about uh, acid. Because it was my understanding that I'm supposed to be resistant to it. Man, this Black Canyon is like a Roadrunner set, you know? Honestly, getting more bang for your buck and, like, just getting stuff whenever you kill things is a pretty smoking deal. And again, I've, you know, come in here, gotten fucked by it. Damn. Um, that's certainly a lot more to think about, though. Very interesting. Uh, I'll do a little more reading. Um, I'll come back. I'm probably going to do at least four episodes of this. Maybe I'll come back and do more later, but who knows. Uh, but until then, I've been Alfred. This has been technically Friday Night Roguelikes, but it has been straight. It has definitely been straight. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming. Bye.